Okay, I'm making a relatively educational video right now, but I have a 16 power scope on an M14 EBR. And when you have the silencer on, you have to put the thing like that to hit somebody, and then it's an if thing. And it neutralizes the flash of the tracer. It's fucking annoying. So what happens instead is... You put it on that second line from the distance I'm out way out here. Because I like to keep my standoff distance from these blue suit motherfuckers. It's not always guaranteed. But as you can see, I just got a face shot on a moving target. Now, if only I could shoot through the fucking rail. There we go. So he just realized that was a terrible hiding spot, and he ran to actual cover. So this asshole right here. So he's hit. That's a face shot. He's looking for cover. He's not going to find it. That's the second headshot. And he's dead. He just ran like a bitch to real cover. He's realizing how bad his cover is. And he's like, oh shit, what do I do? What do I do? This guy's an expert killing person. And his head just popped. Alright, so now we got this asshole right in the face and then we got my stupid ass not fucking reloading thankfully I'm really far away from these little fucking pricks he's dead and his buddies are just like you know what fuck that guy we didn't like him anyway God damn it. I am not this fucking retarded. Honest. Okay, he's dead. I'm using high velocity ammo, by the way. I probably should have brought out other types of ammo to fucking showcase this. To be honest, I didn't even realize I was going to be doing shit like this. Alright, I believe I've hit him enough times that he can die now. There we go. So, for those of you who don't play Rust that much, uh, that crunch means that I just scored a critical hit on this asshole. That hit, that's just a regular damage of some kind. That's another headshot. And that's a body hitting the floor. There might be some unrendered cover, so I'm running out of fucking good rounds out of this motherfucker. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing that I'm scared to do. And I'm gonna close the distance on these little fucks just by a little bit, maybe run around the other side of the oil rig. This is the small oil rig, by the way. I got 60 rounds left to end some lives. That's really all I came here to do. See, now, if he could, he'd be shooting back at me. I really need to start making these shots count a little more, because I run out of rifle ammo, I'm fucked and I have to close the distance on these assholes. I basically just have to keep on doing what I'm doing right now, which is just shooting these motherfuckers when they're in like really easy positions. And he's dead. Get good, nerd. I can hear it now. Get good, nerd. I can fucking hear it now. Get good, nerd. This is nerd. a this is a slow man's strategy here. Like I said, you don't want to get too close to the oil rig, because then these guys can light your ass up and kill you. You want to stay relatively this distance. You want to stay close enough that you can hit them easily with what you have. 
while being far enough away that they can never return fire, even if they can look at you. I don't see anybody fucking walking around. Thankfully, I have a lot of pistol ammo. So what I might have to do is just go for it. It's just the regular blue suits. I'm not even going for the box on, on the deck. Because that will bring out guys I can't do shit to. Because they'll be encased in so much fucking armor. And 